uh, my name is Viktor Dumin. Um, unfortunately, um, presenter author Evgeny Rivtsov um, was unable to attend. Uh, I will uh, replace him. Um, the topic of my talk is um, laser Doppler flowmetry in blood and lymph monitoring, technical aspects and uh, analysis. Um, sorry. Okay, excuse me. Um, at the beginning of a little bit uh, of information about um, me and our research group. Uh, I'm a PhD student and uh, researcher at the Ariel State University. Uh, more information about my university on this slide. Uh, Ariel City, as you can see, uh, is uh, situated in the south of the central European region of Russia. Uh, just our uh, 380 kilometers from Moscow. Um, our team shown here uh, is interested in the development of uh, biomedical optical invasive methods and uh, uh, devices for diagnostics such as laser Doppler flowmetry method, uh, fluorescence spectroscopy and diffuse reflectance spectroscopy. Uh, this talk is devoted to the possibilities of the laser Doppler flowmetry method for the joint study um, of microhema and lymph circulation in the human skin. Um, the outline of our talk includes these uh, next sections, uh, a short introduction and uh, information about available diagnostic methods uh, for microcirculation monitoring. Um, I also talk a little about the method of laser Doppler flowmetry. Uh, next, uh, the method of the experiment cell results will be presented. Um, so the lymphatic system performs a number of vital functions uh, in the human body. Uh, the return of water, proteins and other micromolecules in blood, uh, lymphocyte recirculation, removal of micromolecules and antigens uh, from the body fluids, uh, transport of fatty acids and other uh, food substances. Uh, the lymphatic system is uh, closely related to the venous system. Um, thus, from a diagnostic point of view, uh, it is most effective to carry out simultaneous investigations of microcirculatory blood flow and lymph flow. Uh, the lymphatic system is uh, currently not fully studied uh, due to the lack of quality in diagnostic method. Um, uh, currently, a number of diagnostic methods uh, are available in clinic practice uh, to assess the vasculature. Uh, all these methods uh, have their limitations. Uh, for example, um, radiopacu methods uh, are restricted for uh, radial monitoring as they are involved toxic contrast agents uh, and deliver a radiation load to the patient. Uh, use of ultrasound uh, can determine the level of the main flow and assess hemodynamics, uh, but microvasculature changes are not registered uh, um, with the help of ultrasound. Uh, the use of uh, microscopy techniques um, requires uh, relatively delicate tissue for investigation. Uh, methods of optical coherence tomography are highly sensitive to fluctuations in the steady area as well as have a small diagnostic volume. Uh, the method of fluorescence lymphography requires intradermal injection of a fluorescence dye. Uh, however, um, the laser speckle and Doppler methods of measurement present themselves as modern and completely non-invasive. Um, but building devices for tiny speckle images is not trivial and costly. Uh, however, methods implementing Doppler spectroscopy um, using a fiber optic probe are often very informative and allow for analysis of a large set of different parameters. Uh, this slide shows a typical block diagram of an LDF uh, using device. LDF uh, is based on the detection uh, of the Doppler shift of laser radiation uh, produced by reflection from um, moving red blood cells in the microvasculation. Um, 
the result of um, LDF signal, LDF measurements are represented as an index of microcirculation or perfusion. Uh, this variable signal contains information about the modulations of blood flow. Um, sorry. <clears throat> um, classifications of blood flow uh, oscillations are represented um, is shown in this slide. Um, there are uh, five types of oscillation distinguished uh, as active of passive rhythms, endothelial, neurogenic, myogenic, uh, breathing, and pulse. Um, thus, um, uh, the aim of research to study the possibilities of the laser Doppler flow metry method for the joint study of microhema and lymph circulation in uh, human skin. Um, the use of standard functional tests, uh, for example, breath holding, uh, occlusion, uh, results in microvasculatory uh, micro changes. Uh, this leads to a redistribution of the AC signal spectral power and uh, in different spectral ranges of the Doppler frequency shift. This uh, allows uh, for the non-invasive evaluation of the uh, scattering particle velocity distribution in the diagnostic volume. Uh, an experimental LDF device uh, featuring uh, fully digital processing of received photocurrent uh, was implied for our, our pilot study. Uh, this enabled the recording of additional information about the distribution of the uh, microcirculation index in a range of frequencies. Uh, the experimental part of the study on healthy volunteers performed according to the following uh, frequency bands. Uh, Mm, the resulting signal was amplified and uh, digitized uh, on the data acquisition board. Uh, the signal mathematical processing is performed in a, a programming environment uh, lab view uh, using development algorithms. Excuse me. Um, the study also used a modified uh, LAC series device. Uh, simultaneous recording of LDF grams was carried our photo frequency bands, um, 310,000 uh, hertz uh, uh, for registration of blood microcirculation and uh, um, 2200 hertz for registration of uh, lymph microcirculation. Um, L according uh, um, were taken from the palmar skin surface uh, uh, of the distal phalanx of the middle finger, third finger. Uh, electrostimulation and uh, temperature test uh, were conducted by a special block uh, LASMA test. Um, we evaluate the index of microcirculation for different frequency bands. Uh, to identify the relationship between blood flow, flow and lymph flow using the LAC series device. Experimental study on healthy volunteers utilizing various functional tests. Uh, uh, we carried uh, breath holding test, uh, temperature test, electrostimulation test, and uh, venous seclusion test. Mm, uh, we evaluate uh, the index of microcirculation for different frequency bands. Uh, to identify the relationship um, between blood flow um, and lymph flow. Um, sorry. I, oh, sorry. Oh. Uh, Multidirectional LDF grams uh, reactions at different frequency bands were observed during uh, breath tests recorded by the experimental LDF device. Uh, increases um, uh, right image uh, increases uh, in the low frequency bands of the Doppler shift were observed during the local reduction of the overall signal. Uh, this effect uh, was observed up to a frequency of about um, 800, 800 hertz. Um, here you can see, can um, here you can see. Uh, distribution of index of microcirculation by frequency of Doppler shift or breath holding test. Um, the, the graph shows uh, the increase in perfusion and the uh, low frequency range. Um, 
This slide show example DF recordings made with a lag series device on the different frequency subbands of the spectrum during the breath holding test. And uh, inverse correlation between micro hem and lymph circulation uh, for both inhale and exhale uh, was observed during breath tests. Uh, similarly, he, um, here you can see example DF grams recorded with uh, lag series device on the different frequency subbands during the temperature test uh, for 10 degrees. Uh, 35 degrees and uh, 42 degrees, uh, you can see increase of uh, microcirculation in uh, high frequency range and decrease of microcirculation in uh, low frequency uh, range. Uh, again, a similar inverse correlation is seen in the electrostimulation test. Um, and uh, finally, the outcomes of the Venus occlusion test. Uh, so um, it shall be noted that the observed pattern of LDF signal behavior at functional loads uh, can be associated uh, with a number of reasons. Effect of microvasculature spasms uh, can increase of number of slow moving red blood cells. Uh, this increase in micro uh, microcirculation localized in the low frequency subranges. Uh, in addition, during a spasm of arterials, a decrease in venerable drainage activity is observed. Uh, this leads to an increase in pressure in the interstitium and an increased lymph flow. Uh, there were led analysis results of the LDF signals uh, recorded during Queen occlusion test uh, showed uh, that the oscillations of lymph flow in the microvasculature of human skin are characterized uh, by distinct uh, dominance of pacemaker phase oscillation in the uh, recovery period after the occlusion um, right image. Um, in general, the wavelet analysis of the spectrum contained oscillations of order frequency ranges, uh, myogenic and uh, respiration. Our conclusions um, for this study, uh, the proposed approach of Doppler measurements uh, utilizing multiple separate frequency bands revealed uh, potential um, useful results. A uh, high inverse correlation was observed in a joint analysis of the blood flow and lymph flow uh, during a functional test. Um, the movement of slow red blood cells and other blood protein molecules may contribute to the observed pattern of LDF signal behavior. Uh, separation of uh, the components of the SAM signal is the main goal of future research. Uh, also, the development of meteorological support uh, in this area is a very urgent task. Um, we would like to thank all of our volunteers. Uh, thank you very much for your attention and patience.